UMBC in the English department and also direct the writing center. Um, so I'm happy to to share some practice with you um, whenever it is that you are viewing the video. So we're going to start this morning with just some nice relaxation. Um, so you can take a comfortable seat, maybe with your legs crossed in front of you or your legs straight out in front of you, whatever is more comfortable for you. And then just kind of arrive here. Allow your body to start to release. So we have areas in our body that we hold tension in. So it could be your shoulders, your neck, could be your back, it feels a little creaky. So as we begin, just start to notice those places. See if you can just start to deepen the breath and allow that tightness to start to release just slightly. So deep inhale through the nose, take a nice deep breath in. And then slowly release that breath, maybe through the mouth or through the nose. Just let it go. So with your next inhale, bring your shoulders up towards your ears. And then as you exhale, roll the shoulders down the back and let go. One more time, bring the shoulders up towards the ears and exhale, let the shoulders go, relax. Maybe just rock a little from side to side, shake out the shoulders. And then take your hands and just do a little shake with your hands. Roll the wrists and roll in the opposite direction. Beautiful, take your arms down by your sides. Inhale, reach up overhead. Bring the palms together, exhale down to the heart. And one more time, inhale, reach up overhead and bring the hands down to the heart. Beautiful. Let your hands release down onto your thighs. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale the breath out. Release, let it go. Sit up nice and tall here. So think about your spine getting nice and long. Think about the crown of your head reaching up towards the sky. Beautiful. Let's take our left hand and bring it over to the right knee. And then just take your torso, twist slightly over to the right. Bring the right hand back behind you, back near your hip. And just look straight ahead, or you can take your gaze over that right shoulder. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more breath here. Sit up nice and tall through the spine. And slowly start to release. Come on back through center. Ah. Take your right hand to the left knee this time. Twist your torso to the left. Bring the left hand behind you. And a deep breath in. And breathe out, let it go. One more breath in. And release, let it go. Beautiful. Start to make your way back through center. And shoulder roll up to the ears and release down the back. One more time, shoulder roll up and release down the back. Beautiful, bring your hands out in front of you and let's take the right fingers. So palms are facing up. Take the right fingers and just gently pull back on those left fingers. 
nice, gentle, not any tugging or pain here. Just releasing that wrist a little bit here as we all sit at our desks these days so long. Typing, typing, typing. So let those wrists have a little break here. And then we'll take the same with the right hand. So take the left fingers and just gently tug back, pull back, and release. See what that feels like to stretch the opposite way. Usually we're this way, right? So stretching the opposite way and releasing. Beautiful. So let's just take another shake, shake it out, shake it out. Beautiful. So let's come on over onto our hands and knees. So go ahead and just kind of roll over the knees. And you can always have a blanket underneath of you to support your knees. I'm on a harder surface here, so I like to have a little support under the knees. So bring your hands underneath the shoulders. Let me turn this way so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So hands are underneath of your shoulders. Back is nice and flat here, so we're going to just release the spine a bit, coming into some cat-cow poses. So we're gonna lift up through the head, the neck, drop the belly down, lift the tailbone. And then we'll do the opposite by curling in and lifting up through the spine, little arch in the back here. Release the head and the neck. And maybe shake your head, yes and no. And when you're ready, you can start to move through your own flow here, up through cat pose and curl into cat pose. And then just keep moving through at your own pace here, opening up through the spine, releasing the neck. No rush, no hurry. Make sure you're breathing here. Well, let's do one more round of our cat cow. And then come on back to stillness here. We're gonna take our knees wide on our mat and then slowly sit back to the heels. Reach the arms forward. Your elbows can be lifted up off the mat or can be down on the mat for a more restful pose. And then let your forehead relax down towards your mat or your blanket, maybe a block if you have a block. And just take some nice deep breaths here. So feel, feel your belly rise and fall as you breathe. Maybe you feel a little motion through the body as you breathe. See if you can reach the fingers a little bit further forward. If not, that's totally fine. Let's see what that feels like to deepen that stretch just a little bit. All right, beautiful. Let's start to lift the hips up off of the heels. You might want to bring your knees back together if you have them apart. And then we're just going to walk our hands forward. Keep your hips lifted. Walk your hands forward. Sink the chest down towards your mat. And maybe again, the forehead touches the floor. Maybe not. And just keep breathing here. Just 
Stretching the shoulders, releasing those areas that maybe were really tensed up when we work at our desks. And start to walk the hands back towards the hips. Come back into that cat-cow pose just for a few rounds here. So again, at your own pace, just moving through some nice spinal stretches here. And take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then come back to a neutral spine here. Just one more stretch here on our hands and knees. We're going to take our right foot, step it back long, curl your toes underneath, and just press back through that right heel. Just press back, really stretching through the back of the leg here. Nice job. We'll bring that knee back to the mat and then stretch the left leg back. T toes curled underneath, press back through the heel. Big stretch here through the back of the leg. And then go ahead and bring that knee back down to the mat. You can sit back onto your heels and then just slowly make your way down to your back. So you might want to have a blanket underneath of your head. And just lie back down onto your back. Let's take the right knee, hug that knee up into the chest, squeeze it in. Breathe out. Release that right leg back down to your mat and then take the left knee, squeeze it in. If it's not comfortable to interlace your fingers around your shin, you can always hold on to the back of your thigh, or you can just kind of have one hand on the knee. So however you want to kind of bring that knee in. Beautiful. And release the left leg back down to your mat. And then hug both knees up into your body. Give them a nice squeeze and nice hug. Slowly bring your arms out to a T shape right from your shoulders. And then let your knees drop over to the right. A little twist through the spine. And breathe it in. You can also take your right hand and Place it on your left knee if you like to just kind of give a little extra tug. A little extra stretch here. Nice breath in. And release the breath, let it go. We'll slowly start to bring the knees back up through center. Give them one squeeze in here. And then go ahead and release the arms back out to a T-shape. Let the knees drop to one side. This time the left side, if you were following me. Whatever the opposite side is for you. And breathe in. Find that space there in the right ribs. Beautiful. Let's bring the knees back up through center. Give them a squeeze. 
maybe a little rock back and forth on the spine, side to side, back and forth, whatever you prefer. And as you're ready, slowly release that right leg down. Release the left leg down. And then let yourself just start to melt down into your mat. You can close your eyes if you like. And just give yourselves a few moments here in relaxation pose. And as you <clears throat> start to melt down into your mat and relax, just wanted to leave you with this poem called Dear You by Kaveri Patel. Dear you, you who always have so many things to do, so many places to be, your mind spinning like fan blades at high speed, each moment always a blur because you're never still. I know you're tired. I also know it's not your fault. The constant brain buzz is like a swarm of bees threatening to sting if you close your eyes. You've forgotten something again. You need to prepare for that or else. You should have done that differently. What if you closed your eyes would the world fall apart without you? Or would your mind become the open sky, block of thoughts flying across the sunrise as you just watched and smiled? So no rush here, but as you're ready, just start to move some parts of your body maybe fingers and toes, maybe wrists and ankles. Start to bring yourself back to the space where you are, just noticing how you feel. And take your sweet time bringing yourself up to a seated position, maybe crossing the legs, or having the legs straight out in front. And we'll slowly bring our hands to our heart center to just close out our little mini practice here, finding gratitude for yourself for taking this time to relax, to stretch, to breathe. So I am grateful to have shared the practice with you Namaste. May the light within me honor and see the light within you. And I hope to see you next time. Be well.